Hey friends, and welcome back to the Gubba Homestead. I'm Gubba, a first time homesteader. And tonight I'm gonna be taking you through like my evening homestead routine. It's the weekend and it has been so, so hot. Like I am sweating right now. I'm in my mud room. Have you guys been going through the heat wave that I have been getting in the Pacific Northwest? Like it is so unbelievably hot. You can let me know down in the comments if you have and what you're doing to stay cool. And it has been quite a hassle trying to stay cool because my house doesn't have AC. And then on top of that, making sure all the animals have water, they're staying cool and they have shelter from the sun because it has been clear blue sky days and everything is getting scorched. So when I need to do stuff, I either do it early in the morning or right now it's kind of cooled down. And when I say cooled down, it's like, in the 80s right now like that's considered cool for me like it feels like okay outside so let's go get some chores done we're going to start out by going to my garden and harvesting what needs to be harvested i got this beautiful raspberry picking bowl here's my raspberries they've been getting kind of dry because of how hot it is and i wasn't ready so i have been trying to water them these ones have been doing really well Look how beautiful this lighting is. And like I said, I'm about to pick raspberries. I haven't picked in a few days, actually. I try to get out in the mornings to do that. And I'm not even kidding, it's like 86 right now, but there's like the tiniest breeze and it feels so stinking good. Yeah, I definitely need to get water out here, like some sort of watering system, because these raspberries are uh, getting dry. And I don't have like a irrigation system set up for my garden. I'm going to be doing that next year. Like garden gardening is my goal next year. This year has just been kind of getting set up and I'm doing the best that I can and recently we started irrigation um, out here on the Gubba homestead and that's been quite the project irrigation and people taking water up the way and so it's been a bit of drama but I've learned with the raspberries you gotta just gotta try and get all the different angles sometimes I'll climb up in there look down from here and I can see more berries so that is my trick for picking berries <laughs> yeah so this bush right here um all the berries are completely small i believe because they didn't get enough water i don't believe it's the variety but if anybody knows in the comments you can tell me i just literally dropped like five berries <laughs> So this is the little raspberry haul that I got tonight. Usually I get way more than this, but just over the fat past few days of a heat wave, it has completely scorched my plants. So that is going to be my agenda. Number one this week is to make sure that my raspberries get water because I love coming out here to get raspberries and I don't want them to die. Um, next, we are going to go check Moo, make sure she has water for tonight and water for tomorrow morning. And same thing with the chickens because it's been so hot, they are flying through the water so let's go do that so on my way out of the garden i saw my lettuce also that looks i don't know ready to pick this would be like a good little salad bowl for me and it's also being scorched by the heat so i am just going to pick this and i will put it in here so we got a bit more a bit more of a harvest I don't know how well this is gonna grow my salad greens. These are more of a cold loving crop. Once we're closer to fall, I will probably plant some more greens because my chickens really love them and I love them for sandwiches. So tasty and salads and so it's incredibly neat to be able to come out here and just pick some greens for a salad or a sandwich that I want that day. I will definitely be planning more. That is Moo's trough right there. And I have a sprinkler growing, going, I just got wet, uh, to water this and have more grass come up. But she's pretty good on water right now. I think she just came and got a drink because it was full this afternoon. I came out and filled it up. One of my favorite things is just watching her graze at night. 
Like, look at how beautiful this is. She also needs a bath ASAP, so I'm gonna have to hose her down here this week. Me and my gentle giant here. She has pricklies all over her face, but she will not let me get her pricklies. She's on the move. Get it? She's on the move. But she's doing good. She's really happy. She has so much grass. And she has a baby in two months. Now we're going to go check on the chickies. And I know that she's happy having me here. If I don't come out and see her and hang out with her, she gets sad and sassy, rightfully so. But chickies, let's go check on chickies. Looks like the chickies got plenty of water. I have this up because leghorns are escape artists and they will come out under here and they did the other day and one got attacked by the dogs but survived. Puppy, those are mom's. Those are mom's chickies. Chick, 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 chickies! Looking good. Very even happy that it's cooled down. Oh yeah, here comes the chickies. Here they come. So sad news. As you can see, I got nine leghorns right here. That one's been in the dust bath, but uh, we lost a chicken. We lost a leghorn. I'm actually incredibly devastated to share that. I discovered it yesterday and the night before I went to put the chickies away in their roost and I always count. I have 16 chickens, counted 15, and so I left it open for a little bit, figuring one of the leghorns would come back. Maybe they were still out in the run or whatever. They had flown out, flew back in. Uh, they did not come back, so <sighs> we are down one chicken, and I know it's silly because people are like, oh, it's just a chicken, but I love these animals, and I care for them, and uh, I'm really hoping the best that they're a free-range chicken now or they're flying high and enjoying themselves wherever they are. The chickens are good, so the next thing that I will be doing is putting them away, but that's not gonna be for like an hour. They like to stay out until the sun is completely gone and it is dark and I just can't help but think. That's when one of my chickens had flown away during the day and just never came back. I hope that doesn't happen again because I really love my chickies. That's it for my nightly routine on the homestead is picking from my garden and now it's figuring out how to water, making sure everything gets water. And that includes all of the animals that Moo has water, the chickies have water, and just trying to survive this massive heat. Oh my gosh. And so I'm hoping, oh, and there's my puppy just hanging out with me. So I'm hoping that it really cools down here soon and we can just get to fall and here i am one of those people where it's like when it's cold i'm like oh i want it to be hot and now that's hot i'm like i want it to be cold then it's gonna be cold and we be like i want it to be hot i don't want it to be this hot in the hundreds no thank you all my animals are struggling so trying to keep them going i can't imagine having a whole farm with hundreds of animals but thank you for coming along with me i appreciate it it was great to have you guys coming with me on just this peaceful homestead evening i appreciate you guys thank you so much for watching don't do anything i want to do and i will see you guys next time bye